Hi everyone, we're going to find the equation of the secant line containing our x at negative 2 and 1, which is the average rate of change for number 4 here. And I already did these three on separate videos. And we're also going to graph the secant line and um, f of x. So the first thing we're going to do is do the secant line thing. Um, the secant line is the average rate of change, which equals your slope. So what we're looking for is the average rate of change between negative 2 uh, and 1. So we've got to find our y values. So we have negative 2 and we need our y. We have 1 and we need our y. So we just plug it in our equation. So negative 2 squared minus 3 times negative 2. And that's going to give you 4 plus 6, which equals 10. And for 1, you get 1 squared minus 3, which is negative 2. So our points are 10 and negative 2. All right. And then we have to find the slope. And we just use this right here. And I'll call this point 1, this point 2. It doesn't really matter. But when you use your equation, uh, your slope formula, we're going to get negative 2 minus 10 divided by 1 minus a negative 2. So this is going to be uh, negative 12 over 3, which so our slope is negative 4. All right, so we're going to use these points to help us graph. Try to memorize that. Negative 2 maps to 10, 1, negative 2. So we're going to go negative 2 goes to 10. I'm going to put it really close up to here. 1 I believe goes to negative 2 here, and our y-intercept and x-intercept is 0, 0. Let's factor this. So you get x, x minus 3. So we have uh, x-intercept at 0 and at 3. So we'll go over to the 3 here, and um, the midpoint between these two is right in here, so probably goes down a little bit. Um, so two point something. Let's kind of sketch a graph here. Well, let's first, let's look at the equation of the secant line. So basically, we have our slope. Our slope was um, negative 4, I believe. Yes. Y equals negative 4x plus b. And we had our two points, which was negative 2, comma, 10, and 1, comma, negative 2. So let's just use this one. So we have y is negative 2 equals negative 4 times 1 plus b. So we get negative 2 equals negative 4 plus b. Add the 4 to both sides, and you get b is 2. So basically, that's your y-intercept. There's your equation of your secant line. And I'd like to uh, get that first so I can see what's going on with the graph. But anyway, um, so our secant line is going to go through 2 here. And it's a negative slope. So let me graph this. Sketch a graph. So I'm going to go through my points here. Sketch a graph here. All right. Now, the secant line connects these two points here. So here's your secant, and it goes through this y-intercept. So there it is, slope of negative 4. And you can extend this out. Here's the slope is uh, negative 4. That's your secant. And then you get your equation right here. And so that's the graph. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.